here's how you can make a paracord phone strap. This will work on most phones and it depends on the kind of case you have. I'm using a Google Pixel 6 and I have the D-Brand triple black grip case. The strap is going to go through one of the speaker holes on the bottom and then through the camera visor slot of the case. First off, I'm going to remove my phone from the case. And for my cord, as mentioned, I'm using some gold 95 paracord, but you can use some gutted 550 paracord instead. I'm going to take the midpoint of my cord and I'm going to place it partially through the camera slot opening and hold it there. Then with the other two running ends, I'm going to run them through one of the speaker holes on the bottom of the case and pull the cords through. Now going back up top, I'm going to have about a quarter of an inch or about one centimeter of the midpoint loop sticking out from the camera slot. And from there, I'm going to put my phone back into the case. And this is going to hold the cord in place and make things a lot easier. You can also adjust the amount of cord sticking out of the case in case it shifted while you were putting the phone back in. Now with the two cords coming out the bottom, I'm going to bring them up to meet the partial loop that's sticking out. With the left cord, I'm going to pass it through the top of the loop. And with the right cord, I'm going to pass it through the bottom of the loop up top. With both cords on their respective sides, I'm going to slip my hand under the cords to get an idea of how much slack I'll need. You'll need a small amount so that you can put your hand under the strap comfortably. From there, I'm going to start tying cobra knots. The left cord is going to lay over the middle core strands and the right cord is going to go over the left cord. The right cord then goes behind the core strands and then out the crook on the left side. Pull tight and cinch up that first cobra knot. Before you continue, you can double check the amount of slack you have. Make sure you have enough to get your hand through comfortably. To continue, the now right strand passes over the core strands and the left goes over the right cord, behind the core strands and then out the crook on the right. Pull tight and cinch up the second knot. The lead cord is now back on the right and repeat from step one. Ensure that the lead cord always stays on the front. If you start getting twists in your cobra knots, you're doing it wrong. An easy way to remember which side stays on the front is whichever side the cord that has the vertical knot on is the side that passes over the front. So continue tying your cobra knots going down your core strands to form your strap. If you're a first timer and you still haven't mastered the Cobra Knot, I have a dedicated tutorial for that using two separate colors and that would be much easier to understand. Once you make your way down the core strands and reach the end, you're almost done. I did run a hair short here, but the Cobra Knot doesn't have to go all the way to the end. A little gap will make the strap a bit more flexible. All that's left now is to snip off the excess bits of cord, melt with the lighter, and then press down on the melted ends to lock the cords in place. You now have a nice strap on your phone that will help you keep your phone secure in hand and you won't have to leave a crater on your face because you won't be dropping your phone on it anymore when you're scrolling in bed. This strap is easy to make and it costs pennies compared to those expensive pop grips and other devices.